Good afternoon, this is Simon Browning again, and this is part two of the overview of the back end of the Typo 3, uh, or the Typo 3 back end interface. Uh, in part one, which you can find on the site if you haven't seen it, what we had just done was renamed a page. We had changed the advertising info page to advertising information, and we saw that it updated in the menus. Um, I've actually just changed that back between uh, videos. Something else we might want to do is maybe we want to change the way the menu is working. Let me click on view here for a second. So over here we have the website and we see our pages, our standards, membership options, advertising info, etc. Maybe advertising info we've decided we want to be at the very bottom underneath the order form. So all I need to do actually is click and hold down on there and drag it. You can see that it's moving with me and I'll take it down to order form and I'll let go and I get a menu popping up that says move the page into or move the page after. Well I want to move it after the order form page. Move it into would mean um, moving it within. So actually if you look at the submin information there's a text there's a test page within it. So that could be for a submenu or maybe it's a page we want to be within something else. Um, so we moved it. Other options I had there were copy into and copy after so we could actually make copies of the pages as well. Notice after I've moved it over here refreshed and the advertising info has now moved. So the site uh, menus automatically update as you move pages around whether it's the side menu, a top menu, a site map menu, basically any menu that shows up will update to reflect changes that you make in the page tree. Um, if I want to put that back, where was it now? I think it was after membership options. I just drag. I'm going to let go and I'm going to move it after. And everything's updated and it's back the way it was. Perhaps I've decided I don't want to have this page on the website. Well, I could just delete it, um, but maybe I want to have it later. So I'm going to click on this page again and I'm going to select this option here, hide. When I do hide, it's going to change. And you can see now it's got this sort of no entry symbol. That indicates that it's a hidden page. And if you notice uh, on the menu here as well, it no longer shows up. And if I go back and actually look at the actual website and refresh that, we'll see the same. Um, oh, it's already refreshed. Advertising info is gone. That page is, is not accessible. So even if you knew the address, rgreendirectory.com slash advertising info or something, and you typed it in, you would not be able to get to that page. Uh, only we can get it as the administrator in the back end. Perhaps we don't want to hide a page. And let me uh, let me unhide this, and that's just by selecting unhide. Maybe we want a page that doesn't want to be in the menus, but we do want to have it on the website. Maybe it's a thank you page. Maybe it's a special page for certain clients. Could be a number of reasons. What we can do is click on this icon, select edit page properties, and select hide in menu. So this is the advertising info page. I'm going to hide it in the menu. I'm going to save and close. When I do that, you'll see that it's gone from the menu again. And over here, let me refresh the page tree here. The page looks a little bit different. It's got sort of a dotted border as opposed to the solid border. That indicates it's a not in menu page. Now this page is accessible. If you knew the URL, www.argreendirectory.com slash advertising info, you would be able to bring up the page. Uh, it's just that it's not going to be shown in the menus at all. So let's go and put that back. Oops. properties, hide in menu, I don't want anymore. In the page properties, there's all kinds of information which we could go into in later videos. You can set the metadata like the key, to the keywords and the descriptions. There's different options available for pages. You can have different um, text for the page title versus the title that shows up in here. There's a lot of stuff that's available. Let me save and close that. Also within the back end here, as opposed to page operations, we have a file list. And what this file list does is give us access to the files that are on the server. So we have two folders there. We have an images folder and we have a PDFs folder where we can uh, store PDFs. I don't know if there's anything in there right now. No, it's empty. But you saw actually within the images there were a few. And I can actually turn on thumbnails too, so I have a, an indicator of what those images look like. That can be used anywhere within the site. And you can upload through here. You can create folders through here. Um, you could also upload directly through FTP and then they would they would show up in here. And then I have my user settings where I can change my name and my password and that kind of thing. I haven't touched on list view. That's used for list view items like news records or frequently asked questions or those kinds of things. We'll go into those in later videos as well. So thank you very much. Have a great day.